I often get asked about itch and systemic sclerosis and um, itchy skin is a feature of active disease and we know uh, that that, that is an, uh, can be a real issue but in, in that situation it may be that actually treating the active disease is the most important thing. Um, but uh, clearly patients with systemic sclerosis ha often have gut involvement um, and so uh, there may be some nutritional issues and so things like iron deficiency can cause itch. Um, it's also an autoimmune condition, obviously, and uh, there is a, uh, a, an increased incidence of other autoimmune diseases in patients with scleroderma. So uh, thyroid function tests are important to check in someone who has the background of itch. Um, there are uh, a variety of other sort of systemic things uh, that can be associated with itch from uh, lymphoma uh, to um, uh, as I mentioned, iron deficiency. So it's important uh, sometimes to do uh, blood tests um, if uh, there's no kind of no evidence of the systemic sclerosis being active in particular. Uh, and then the other thing, so standard treatment has been uh, antihistamines, so things like fexofenadine, cetirizine, um, some of which are uh, fexofenadine, for instance, is prescribable only, but uh, many different antihistamines, non-sedating antihistamines are available um, over the counter without a prescription. Um, Montelukast has also been used uh, with some, uh, it's rather variable, but some benefit for uh, treating it in systemic sclerosis. Um, but the thing I wanted to add is that there are increasing, or there's increasing research about non-histamine related itch pathways. And um, there are a, a number of systems that are being investigated at the moment uh, and a number of different sorts of moisturizers that are being developed uh, looking at um, blocking some of these pathways rather than just the uh, histamine related ones. So that's something to and keep an eye out on um, and will likely become more available. Uh, but it also has uh, emphasized the need to potentially use um, things which uh, block nerves when you see so that that sort of burning itch is often linked to uh, nerve involvement um, either directly as a result of the sclerotic process or possibly linked to sort of inflammatory uh, mechanisms going on in the skin. Um, and so uh, things like amitriptyline at night, uh, gabapentin and gabapentin may well be useful for um, um, systemic sclerosis related itch. 